Greetings and salutations, I'm Ken. Welcome back to this let's play of Day of the Tentacle. So we finally got in a costume, which we might do things with in due time. Was there anything I missed in this area? No. Busted washers. Different items, I'm not quite sure how we can use these, but we'll get to that. Uh, so. Now then. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good-looking <laughs> tentacle. Okay, fair enough. But now we have a costume, so... Uh, we'll uh, interact with that. Let's see. Now at least we should be able to move around a bit more. Right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. <laughs> Quite agree. It's already open. Oh my. Nobody I know. I don't want it. It's a bench. Looks comfortable. No time for that now. It looks like a poodle I once knew. <laughs> Ooh, candelabra. Hmm, how decorative. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. Oh, oh dear me. I don't want it. But what's that over there? It's a dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. <laughs> 1795. Sorry about the dents. <laughs> okay. Uh. I can't pick it up. No, you can't. Maybe I can open it. I can't do it with my bare hands. Oh, yes, of course. So... Let's see, who has the can opener right now? Give those to the burn. I thought I always had to go back to the Chrono John for this, but oh, thank goodness. So now we have a can opener. And looky there. Vinegar. And we're gonna hand that over to Hoagie. And we have a name tag. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. Indeed. It's fastened to the wall. Uh, fair enough, but at least we got the item we wanted. Uh, let's head onwards. What's in here? Hey! What an interesting mannequin. Oh. He's too heavy to carry. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. Oh. I've got to get power to my chronogon. I guess I could wait for a lightning storm. I'm concerned about the human show. Hmm. Where am I going to find a human to enter? Oh. Most of the humans are probably entered already. Hmm. My, those are nice clothes you're wearing. All that white really gets to me. <laughs> um. Do you think it's strange me talking to a mummy? 
It's not so different from talking to guys at med school. <laughs> Except for the bandages. I really should go now. So I think Call me sometime, okay? I think we found our human. Of course we need to prep him first. Um, you know what? Let's see, you... No, you didn't have it. Someone has it, let's see. You have the fork. Give that fork to Laverne. So, Laverne, we have some spaghetti. I would, but who would see it? Uh, I don't think so. I would, but who would see it? Hmm. Mm, roller skates. <laughs> I almost killed myself on a pair of those ones. Hmm. I think we have our human here. Yeah, there we go. I would, but who would see it? I don't think so. Ah, I can mistake a fork in the I mummy. I don't think so. So I was thinking we could use the wet noodles for hair I on the mummy. I would, but who would see it? Ah, name tag. You're ready to go now. Um. Comfy. No time to relax. I'm trying to save the world. It's that guy from the Hawaiian cop show. <laughs> uh. Bernard might like it, but it's way too tacky for me. I don't even feel like touching it. Okay, what about the lava lamp? Groovy. No way, those things are dangerous. Uh, okay, at any rate, we have a mummy on wheels. Uh. <laughs> Poor Harold. Well, that's the spirit. <laughs> Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Yeah, about that. We'll... might do something about that. Hmm, extension cord. It's a nice, long, heavy-duty one. Hmm, extension cord. Pink flamingo. Classy. Can we... Not my style. Ah. Uh, okay, fair enough. But we got an extension cord. We'll have to do that with something with that eventually. And of course we got our human. Great Scott! Ooh. Your purple... Uh... Um... Yes? Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? I think humans are the vilest creatures on the planet. That's the spirit. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a problem. Uh. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. Are you the same Purple Tentacle who knew Dr. Fred? Up on your ancient history, are you? Yes, I remember that insignificant insect. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? <laughs> Do you uh. mind? You're disrupting my concentration. According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. Uh, can we grab them? I don't want to disturb anything with Santa Claus over there eyeballing me. 
I wonder how it can float in midair like that. I don't want to disturb anything with Santa Claus over there eyeballing me. So, we need to get him out of the way, I suppose. Hmm. Uh. He looks a little older than I remember. Uh. Not wise. Okay, fair enough. So that's where he's hiding. Upwards. Ah, here we go. Wait a second. Wasn't they... Were, I, thought they I thought they were downstairs. But yeah, we'll have the... Let's see. Contestants. Nice outfit. Don't bother. You'll just get beat like the rest of them. <laughs> I don't think this guy has much of a chance. None of them do. Against me, that is. Uh, yeah, there's that. This is true. There we go. Now he has hair. Uh, let's use the fork. Lovely style. <laughs> and a spare meatball. So, um, of course, we're not quite there yet. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. Uh, let's have a look over there. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> uh. If he can be a doctor, then <laughs> I'll have no trouble. <laughs> doctor. What is it? Is someone sick? We can't have sick humans in the show. Well, uh... <laughs> I examined them all myself. They're all perfectly healthy looking to me. Except for the dead one. Now leave me alone. <laughs> except for the dead one, yeah. Um, now... So, uh, We still haven't gotten our human up to par, of course. Uh... But we're getting there. We still have to get some talents and stuffs. I think. I will we'll, we'll try, I wanna see. I, I think we can repeat this however many times we need, so... Let's talk to the judges. Uh, hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, alright. Wow, hmm. for a mummy, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. Ooh. Agreed. Hmm. So we know that, let's see. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. Hmm, best smile and best laugh. Yeah, that Harold sure knows how to bear them beauties. I could see my reflection in one of his incisors. First place. Of course, we're gonna have to change the results here. Uh. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. Best laugh. Ooh, I think we know how to get one of the best laughs. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> Harold by a mile. Now there's a sense of humor. Agree. Mm. So we clearly have to get rid of Harold. Luckily we have good just a little thing for that. Of course we still have to get our human up to par, but hey, we have a fart barf. Oh, Harold. 
Carol, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick! Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. <laughs> what a mess. So... I no. hate cleaning up after humans. So that's one down. So, what to do next? Well, I think we're going to give the fork to Bernard. Da -da -da -da. Let's see, fork. This fork couldn't pop a spit bubble, let alone a tough clown like Uzo. Oh, scalpel. And now we give this to Laverne. And Laverne can use the box of laughs on Mommy. So that that now that, that's taken care of. We still need to give him a smile though. And that's probably where the horse's dentures come in. But how the bugger all do I get the horse to give up his dentures? Ah, we shall see. So, let's see, that was Purple Tentacles Room. Uh, we haven't explored everything up here, so let's keep exploring. Might be more items. And uh, what about the grandfather clock? Sorry, I'm under strict orders from Tentacle Number One, the Almighty Elder, the Grand Pooba, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darned attractive one, I might add. <laughs> but no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Hmm. Escaped humans, you say? We'll see what we can do about that. I don't think there was anything else in this room. Um... We couldn't go outside before. Meanwhile... Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir! I can take it! I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass! Sir can it, son? This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit... firm lately? Ooh, ick! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right, come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No! Uh -oh. Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. That doesn't sound good. You might end up in trouble. Hey, wait a second, a cat. Uh, where'd you go, kitty? Uh, back, 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 back. Let's see. He was scratching his back on the fence, I think. Oh, I have an idea. Um, let's see, was it you that had this thing? No. Hoagie? And uh, Booba be gone. To the burn. Remember that, uh... With a fence. There we go. <laughs> this ought to be good. I agree. Let's 
So now we have a cat with a white stripe. Hmm. Gee, I hope that's not lead-based paint. I can't get to it up there. Okay, fair enough. But now, we wanted to chase away the humans, right? So now we have a skunk. <laughs> skunk disguise, rather. So we just have to fetch that cat somehow. We'll see if we can find a way to do that. Um, you have an extension cord. Can we use that with the plug? There we go. So now we have the extension cord. Uh, go back. Uh, we're gonna use uh, use extension cord with the window. Okay, fair enough. So now we just have to get uh, some power down there, and we have to get down in the basement somehow. We also have to get the cat. Um. Let's see. What do we have left? We have the vinegar, so we can get the battery. Ah, come on, dude. Go down the path. But I'm still uncertain how I can get the horse's dentures. Ah. But yeah, we have the vinegar. Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. A miracle of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Hmm. So, can we steal it? Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. <laughs> eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Okay, fair enough. So we got that. Uh, was there anything else here? Nah. So we have our battery. Let's see if we can charge it up. There has to be a way to do that, but do I uh, interact with it? Do I add it into the Drake or do I add it into the cord? Ready for another brush with destiny? Sure, why not? I okay, assume it's gonna go Splendid. up in the pocket then. Let's try that first. Uh. No. So let's see, the battery's on board. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life! <laughs> now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Ah. Uh, isn't there something called a hoagie sandwich? I actually don't remember, but I think there's something like that, but no matter. There's a reference to everything. So, let's see now. We have the battery. Wow. And we're good to go. That's one down. 
But how do I get all these other items done, though? Hmm. Ah, deflated threats. Can I do something with these? It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see now, though. We have to get the uh, toy mouse from the cat in the attic on the present day, because I think we're going to need that in order to lure the cat down in the future. We need the... Hmm. Shrink ray, I think. No, we don't need that one. We need the dentures of the horse. And I have no idea how we give the, get the horse to give up his dentures. Hmm. What items haven't I used yet? Disappearing ink. The cigar lighter we already used. Uh, okay, the disappearing ink, that's one thing we haven't used. Uh, the textbook. Oh! Let's try that. Let's see if the horse wants to read a textbook and see if that puts him to sleep or something. I uh, will try. For now, a time for a short break. Thank you for watching.